Uh, let me just do this. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good night. I thought I better do this because it's time bound. Deadline is 29th of March. So I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. And this is about um, if you're going to drive outside the UK post Brexit. Basically, you're going to need an international driving permit, code 1968. All the details you need are on the www.gov, G-O-V, B for Victor, UK website. And just put in international per permit. But in brief, um, you're going to need two passport photographs which have been notarised. Don't go there without having them notarised. They must be notarised as a true and original copy of the person who is giving it to them and uh, you must have your existing driving license your uk driving license in order to get one um and five pound fifty it's a nominal fee but the inconvenience standing in line is going to outweigh that um also people from the eu they're going to need to convert um, to a uk driving license before they can get the international driving license. That might be a bit of a pain, but that is what they're asking people to do. Um, there's been a surge of people, of course, trying to get their international driving license. I'm gonna go and get mine, um, even though I don't drive abroad, because apparently it might be required as ID, as legitimate ID, so it's important to have it. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, you used to be able to do your um, get your driving license through AA, RIC or the Euro Tunnel in Folkestone. You can't do that anymore. You can't do it online and you can't do it by post. You can only get the international driving license from the post office. That's going to be a put of strain on the post office staff, but that's the only way you can do it. So... Um, 29th you've only got a couple of weeks before you get that done the only difference is if you do it after the 29th you can do it after the 29th but you'll have to do a theory test and a practical test that's a bit of a bind and it's probably going to delay it I don't know if they do that at the post office I don't know where that's being done or whether you have to take it at a particular school I'm not quite sure how they're managing that um, what else um, if you're caught abroad driving Without an international driving license, you're going to be fined and it's going to invalidate your car insurance. If you don't have a um, international driving license, I think it's going to invalidate your insurance anyway. So it's almost it's almost like it's a mandatory document now. Um, what else? Anything else? If you're living abroad and they're now um, suggesting that people take local driving tests, um, because remember, the international driving that type, the international driving license only lasts a year, and while you can get it three months ahead, it kind of cuts you short three months. So if you don't go abroad, um, it's not too bad. But if you go abroad regularly, you're going to have to keep doing that, and at one point, you're going to have to keep. I'm, I'm wondering if you have to keep doing that theory and practical test every time you apply. For a driving license that has cost implications as well because you're going to have to pay for that driving test and that theory test so that's going to be a pain in the butt ah oh. um what else um yo you're gonna to have to need to take out green care insurance if you're traveling in europe you might know about that more than me i have no idea but google it green care insurance it's a car insurance, so you're going to have to. You need to have that on you um, if you're driving abroad. Uh, the Euro style GB sticker. That's not going to be um, recognised, or it may not be recognised if we move out of Brexit. I mean, if we leave the EU, you're going to have to purchase a GB sticker. I'm not even quite sure what the purpose of that is, but anyway, good news is that you can get you, you can get your um, your license, your international driving license the same day. That's assuming that it's before the 29th and you don't have to do no tests or anything like that. Um, but yeah, you if, if you did have to do the tests and stuff, you probably would have done that anyway. This is just to save costs. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's it really. The only thing I might add is that I'm not quite sure how this will impact if Brexit is delayed. I don't know if all of this will be put off. But for now, you need an international driving license, 
before the 29th of March, well actually before the 28th of March, if you don't want any hassle or least hassle and more cost effective. And that's all for now. Bye bye.